What's going on, ARD family? How are you all doing today? I trust and I pray you're having an awesome day. It's not a lovely day here in Guyana. It's midweek. Boy, let's show you the atmosphere down here. It's kind of cloudy. Got a little overcast there, you know, kind of dark. You know, I get a slight shower. But hey, it's a beautiful day. And look at all the lovely coconut palms, there, man. Coconut. Uh, we recently had some flood in Guyana, mainly in the in the hinterland area like Linden, Kokwani, the Maikoni River, the Mahaika River, uh, you know, Pomeroon, Pomeroon River. In Georgetown and East Coast, West Coast, East Bank, I haven't seen any flood or any you know significant amount of water. But nonetheless, you know, I stand strong with my fellow Guyanese. Be strong, the season gonna be over. You know. Nothing lasts forever. Hang in there. Look at the positive side of life. Things will get better. I have a total of 102 food hampers. I want to say a special thank you to all you guys. These are all the folks here that contributed today for 102 bags. Now I'm making my way down to my Banke to put in the order to prepare the bags, make my payment, and tomorrow, tomorrow is Friday. I'm gonna start distributing. So join me and let me begin this adventure. I restarted the program. I'm gonna share my PayPal details in the description. And please note, given the fact that I have a full-time job, I'm a father, full-time father. I'm a YouTuber. I have construction going on, plus I do a thing or two for folks that are abroad or not living in Georgetown so I have my hands full with a lot of work I'm gonna do this charity maybe once a month I cannot go about doing it every day every week I'm gonna pull up all the resource like these these contributions I receive them from March month April month May month even though the program was closed I few friends I, I bump into they gift me money so I told them I'm not gonna do this charity until June so here I am in June I'm doing the charity I'm gonna try to do this program once a month all right and for the naysayers you always got a black belly sheep in every family or a wayward sheep in every family all right <laughs> or in every flock so you black belly sheep are you wayward sheep I don't hate you I pray and I trust that you can make peace with your ignorance and you can find it in your heart to move on and be a happy person and stop hating stop hating on others life is not what you want it to be you would not get everything that you want in this life learn to accept what you have and learn to accept what you cannot have things are not gonna be the way you want it to be understand that learn to be comfortable and happy with what you have all right so making my way to I buy Banke grocery here. We're going to carry the bags and to order the grocery. You know, I always get my stuff down here. Well, most of the time. This mom price is always reasonable cheap. Place to check out. Good service. How are you doing, fellas? Yeah, how are you doing, man? Good day, buddy. Yeah, you get quality and good service for your money your dollars worked I finished paying for my 102 bags of grocery tomorrow that's where we're gonna start our distribution all right so I'll see you tomorrow good morning day two and look what I've seen I see some tsunamis here man look the number plates is with the yellow is the Suriname plate. All right, so I'm heading up to um, Banke to pick up the grocery. And I want to say a special thank you to my boy Anil, man. Anil loaned me a pickup truck to get the grocery. I take to Mahaika. Yeah, we're taking the groceries, 85 bags to Mahaika Creek, where we're gonna give to the folks there that got flood, you know. Later on this afternoon, me and Pastor Ravi be heading up to 
fowls on the east coast of Demerara. Pastor told me there are about 30 houses at the fowls back, at the old back of fowls that needs help. So we're gonna head down there and drop off some grocery for those people in need. I've never been there before. So I wanna do new areas because you would have known I've been to many areas already, but I wanna reach out to, to new areas. So in an effort that you guys can see these areas, if you would like to make your own contributions, you know where you can go, all right? All right, so we got 85 bags already loaded up into the canter for Mahaika Creek. Here we have a remaining 17 bags, but we need 20, 29 bags for fowls. So ARD is pitching in 12 bags to make up 29. And then we're heading down to fowls later on this afternoon. All right, so the goodwill continue. Hello, Pastor. Good afternoon. All right. So I'm going to buy Ricky and Karen in the front vehicle eh? and we're making our way to, um, where are we going Pastor? We're going to Fowles. Fowles, the, the old road. The Fowles old road. road. Fowles old road. Alright, you got about, 20, about 29, 28 houses there. That's right. Correct. So we're heading down there, start the distribution. We're passing the mighty Luziknan Market here. Eh? Yeah, I know I just love to show you markets. So as we make our way up to Fowles old road, this is what it looks like at the market here, man. Alright. I as a man just love to enjoy the journey. We're in the Fowls area here. This is the old road that used to lead you back in the days, in the 90s and so. Through Enmore, before they made the... Um, the new road at the, at the front, so right, you got the baker shop now. Give it a baker in Bud Bud Ram Bud Ram, Bud Ram, Bud Ram. bakery. They're still here or they're closed? Yeah, up? yeah, that, that, that's here. This fancy mm -hmm. house, yeah, but the bakery is bakery the, the next side, building. Yeah. They used to got the Bud Ram's bakery and no down here. And this was, this was the main road back in the days, man. We never used to have a scheme in past. This was an open, open yeah, road, it, right? it, it was an open area, open here. area, right? So, this is where we're going and drop off these um, these groceries and it's about 29 houses down here. You include these small houses yeah, in the front yeah, here and stuff. Yeah. Alright, so we walk from the inside, come out. No problem. No problem. So all these little houses here. These are like squatters, Master? Yeah, squatter. Yeah, squatters. Alright, so these folks are squatting here. We are at the Fowls area here, as I mentioned, the old road. And past on the boys them about to start distributing the um food hampers. You know, I don't want to record every one of these folks in detail because you know I don't want these folks to feel like as I'm giving them a bag of grocery, I gotta make them public, you know. So I'm just showing you the neighborhood in case you want to come here. This is the old road, the back road. You have about 29 houses that we counted. All right, 29 families down here that you can give, you know, stuff to. One of our bags is worth 5,000, 25 US dollars. We have a rice and we have uh, like two, like four pounds of flour. About three gallons of rice. We have a bottle of oil, a pound of butter, a pound of milk, two pounds of salt, four pounds of sugar. At least it's enough grocery for them to, for four or five, a husband and wife with three children for a week. You know, it could last them for a week. So. We, we do not include potatoes and garlic and onion because those stuff are perishable. And remember, we all have our full-time jobs. And if we don't get a time to distribute these food stuff, it can go bad, right? So we try to get other stuff. We have like chana, two pint chana, like two pint of dal, you know, so they can make a dal and rice and, you know, chana curry and thing. So, hey, the goodwill begins. So these people need road as well as the electricity. I guess they need water. I'm not sure if they have water here as well. But hey, I hope they can develop this scheme. You know, give these people the rights to the land and give them the basic necessity. Electricity, water, and a decent road. You know, so they can up their standard of living. So the boys continuing 
to distribute the hampers there. Looks like about two people are not home. So instead of 29, 27 because either they're not living there or they're not at home. Like for instance, these two houses, so the green one and the other one across there. Those two looks as if nobody lives there. This is Mohammed Pradeep Aziz. This man is Mohammed Pradeep Aziz. <laughs> this man went on YouTube already when I was sharing groceries the other day. You want to get a girl from YouTube for married, right? A girl from America, you want to Canada? One girl. You don't want a girl from America? <laughs> yeah, this, this is a little friend who passed today, man. They buy Pradeep. He's a very helpful fellow, man. He helped us out the last time we distribute hampers in Enmore. Very good young man. He lived with his mother, so we make sure he gets a bag, you know? Y'all yeah, know when I go anybody house, for sale is going to the backyard. And look how pasta got over there, actually. Look. Mango there, ripe one, <laughs> and look, mango here, boy. I gotta get mango for this tree, you know. You see that? And this mango, the right thing for pick the mango here. Look, all right, uh huh. From the tree into my mouth, mm. and Pastor would like to thank the, the person that sent some money from overseas. Go ahead, Pastor. Yes, Danny. Thanks again. And I think this this is our fourth venture for the year. Yes, um, together. Yeah, so thanks for giving us this opportunity again. And we want to thank God that, that you have given us strength, that regardless of what is surrounding us, that yet we can go out and, 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 and provide some amount of relief. I, I, I want to thank Ricky, um, who is living in New York. Ricky, known as Taps, and his wife. Um, they would have donated a uh, hundred dollars and um we would have used it to to give to some bedridden individual that is living around the community, community of more and also i want to thank my cousin tasha she would have sent approximately three hundred dollars to, to donate to some kids and also to this venture so i really want to thank you both of you my cousin her husband and her family as a whole and um ricky taps i know that you would have given me this money sometime back but now was the option time to to venture out in in, in giving this money, money also yes. thanks to you and your wife um i know i met you guys when you were here last year so thanks again and danny thanks again you're welcome pastor and yes as pastor said he has the money a while now i also had these money since early march and now i get the time to come out and do the grocery all right i plan to do the grocery once a month now all right because of course you know pass and i we have our own jobs our helpers all them boys ricky and um karen them boys work as well so when we finish working actually today is friday i didn't work today i took the day off pastor work half day his other two friends work half day and we are out distributing the food hampers tomorrow we're going to mahaika creek well none of us work on saturday so it's a free day but i want to thank those boys ricky and um Karan and also Pastor for assisting me today and thank you all for donating towards helping families in need in Guyana all right so I had to show you all this mango tree above here look at this goodness here boy look at them mangoes oh my god hey Pastor coming back tomorrow you got a right five finger when you last see. Oh shoot! <laughs> I see cherry and so hold on, hold on, let's show you some fruits. We got a guinea tree there. Pastor, just show me some. <laughs> you need one, you are it? Right? Yeah, this is a jacket, man. Like, I remember to fix your arm. Oh, but yeah. I can pick one, right? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we got tea so far, Pastor. You got this, this are the arm. Um... It's sour, you know. So... It's sour? <laughs> yeah. Oh shoot. Pastor said it's sour. So you can taste some still. We got a carambola or um, five finger, right? Oh, look how you rape them, I am nice, but this man says it's not bad. This is the cashew tree, or trend, that's a pomerac, or pomerac here. Yeah. And look, papaya, boy, hey, and we're going to fruits, boy. All right, and this people don't live here, but we would have, uh, I'm going to pick the thing, but pass it, then we think sour, so. <laughs> Me is going to eat the sourness, all right? But he did too close to the sourry tree. He did close to the sourry tree, the bling bling. And the lime tree. And the lime tree, that don't go to, boy. But this place got a lot of fruits, tree. that's what I love it, and more of a man. We got squash tree and things, so. We got these groceries here. Um, right, we got a, we got a few more grocery 
down there and pass the guy. These are the um, these are the monies that your your guy um, Ricky and that's right. Yeah, and the other folks send that you're, you're gonna go drop off now to yeah. the folks at the back there. All right, so you know we don't want to put the cameras on everybody because we we want to let people be comfortable we don't want them to feel because we're gifting them something we got to put them on camera and put them on the internet it's not our intention to do so what we are trying to do is to be transparent on our side when you send your money to us we want to be transparent we want you to see where your monies go all right but in this event we're not going to put the cameras on everybody we give this uh, money to or all the grocery to all right so i hope you understand that and there's something i want to start doing i'm not going to put the camera on everybody that i give a bag grocery to all right so the goodness continue we're gonna see you in mahika tomorrow as we pass by and more as i make my way to the back to drop off the couple bags of grocery i couldn't resist to show you all this guinea tree look guinea on this tree in case you wonder what guinea tree look like look over there it's not fully ripe yet to eat maybe another month from now but look how many guineas like more guineas than leaves man <laughs> hey have you got a towel cook on a tree oh how things are what guy that what guy that all right look my slinch cousin live here don't hear live yes, what's mango i got for that tree then the rapid mango how you doing good, good. all right good to see you man all right take it easy <laughs> and y'all realize something Looking a far distance to the back there, you see a red sign there? Yeah, I'll see a mark for it. It says Eldorado. Don't wonder why this tree has blossomed so, so much and a beer so, so much. But, you got the Eldorado too. You got the Eldorado too. No problem, darling. <laughs> All right. And you tell me come back next month for this guinea, right? Good, I'll come back. And look, she got two nice big dogs. And pasta. I know. You don't like fair skinned people. <laughs> Bad head people, that's what happened. All right, so the goodness continue. Now I had to show you all this mango tree. We we kind of say table time mango, is that? Table mango in Eskimo we just say table mango. Look how look how nice. So how at the bottom so you got some little orangeish like orange color. One you call it one of fit in the mouth one time. Yeah, you call it table mango. One of you can get two of this mango here, but you realize long I eat one of them. Man, we're going to pass a dog for it, right? All right. So we can end more here, we you know pass the searching for some of the older folks, you know, to get look at the beauty of the mango tree. Now you can see the color of the mango tree there boy and the mangoes them. Woo! Table time mango, yeah buddy, what's up? <laughs> and what cherry you know them? You know them? Let me go ask them to pass a couple come. Pass them you ask them to mango and two cherry. You know, you know I love fruits, right? And we can go and beg them for two mango and two fruits, don't worry. Alright. When you live good to people. That us do nice things for you. Now look, look at that boy. Watch the dogs in the pasta. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Auntie and Uncle. Yeah. Woo! Look at that there boy. And look, look, Uncle got a pick up to watch. Pass the watch. Do your thing, do your thing. And more. Yeah. And this is how you get grocery in in and more in the countryside. This man driving through selling hundred dollar pong fast and dollar pong planting and everyone things. <laughs> you get it all the greens there. Pastor, may I please have one? Sweet. Sweet. All right. Now this mango here, one of this, one thing go in your mouth. So let me see if you can make it, right? The entire mango fitting in your mouth. Oh. And look over here. Look cherries on this tree, boy. How did, how did Ryan go past the uh, nursery school? Two little cherries oh, no. on a tree. One, one for one. you and one, one for one. me. Shake one. them down and pick one. them up and one. put one. them in a tiny cup. Nursery school rhyme I learned back in the early 80s, but how we can get a cherry now, Pastor? Look how much cherry up there, boy. Hold on, I can find. I can shoot this. I can, look. I got through this jungle here with saturate. I got I I pass out on the black. Oh, you got film black? Look at this. All right. The first one I got film black. Nah, the lime tree. The lime tree next to it. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, you got a lime tree here. All right. I read this flower here, Pastor. We just pick this flower and suck out a little nectar from it. 
What the biggest? You ever do that when you were small at school? No. Unfortunately, yeah. You know about that, uncle? Yeah, yeah. This this flower here, right? We just like break off, break off like a. I saw the, the sweetest one out. Yeah. But so, well, this is the right one, you know. This is not the right one. Oh. No, you get the next one where people like make friends with. Yeah. You get, you get point and get cap yeah, that and that's pull out. It. Oh. You know which one? Cap yeah. The one this this, this stem much fatter. Fatter. fatter right. yeah. Well, it's a flower like this. We used to break everything and. Yeah, man, you got a little sweetness to it. So you just get a little, um, a little nectar, a little honey kind of thing from this flower yeah. here. Maybe the small and look. No pomegranate, there, man. Pomegranate. Or pomegranate, when we say here locally. Yeah, and you got guava, let me show this guava tree here, man. Hold on. You got oak tree. Oak tree and so <laughs> nice. <laughs> so all them things for y'all miss in your life, for your left Guyana and go away. Look all of it right down here, watch. This is guava, it's green. All right, it's not, it's not ripe yet. I'm gonna come back next month for it. We got some Edo's leaf at the bottom there. Edo leaf. I don't know. Oh, what the okra tree? Oh, Baki. Whoa, you got an okra farm here, man. Woo. Look, okra tree here, boy. That's an okra crop, man, you know? Yes, yes, I'm gonna okra crop there, watch. You got sour over there, you got sour sap, you got key, and you got more cherry. It's a katahar. Katahar. All right. And you got fat pork and things all back there. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> bro, <laughs> time. You said you're right, you had me come here. You see what I love about the countryside? Yeah. They're plant them yard, every square inch of the yard, they're my plant. Yeah. This is the beauty yeah. about yeah. countryside. Yeah. Miss Lynch, you would have loved this flower here. Yeah. Oh, well, look, flower, look, flower tree here and things, by Hey, so the goodness yeah. continue. So we're still in Enmore here. This square is called Paticum. Okay. Paticum Square. Okay. And that's Blasomsky Road. What is the road no, name? No, this is the back road. Back road? Yeah. So this is the rum shop, Uncle Paticum. You live here. So those of you from Enmore gonna know this house in the rum shop. Mr. Paticum. So the name is square, Paticum Square. So we're going to the back pass and I continuing onto the journey. <laughs> yeah, see the big tree up there? That's Tambrin. Those that, of you who like Tambrin, Uncle Paticum Tambrin tree. You look Tambrin on it. And to the left of that is a star apple tree. America has ice apple. We have star apple, sugar apple, monkey apple, golden apple. I wish I wish I had more apples, Master. Huh? <laughs> Not apple yet. You got four apples on here. <laughs> America only the one. Only one I got. But they have different colors in it, Master. <laughs> but but the mere fact is only it's one. It's only one, one type of arm. Um, we got coconut too, watch. So we go to what is the area name pass? This is Hope West. Hope West we go into. Alright. So I mean what I may have to do this video might be too long. I'm gonna end this video here in an in and more distributing these um other bags that I have. And then tomorrow when we go to Mahaiko, I'm gonna start a new video. We're going straight. Alright. So I'm giving you all a tour of Hope West. We're in Hope West here. Yeah, we're in Hope West here right now. You know. I got five bags more grocery there. We're going through Billingbrook Street. Billingbrook? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice, nice. So we got more tarmac tree there, right? Yeah, so we're going to find five more houses. If we don't find anybody else down here to give the grocery to, then we're going to add it to the 85 that we already have from Mahika Creek. So we're going to go with 90. All right, so this is. What is the street name? Is that school street? No, this, this, is a, this is grass field. Grass field? Yeah. Oh, Enmore grass field too. That's right. All right. So, as I make my way out of Enmore, I've seen something new. I've never seen, oh, there's a Chinese supermarket over here. I've never seen this before. And I guess most of you guys in Enmore who live abroad don't even know there's a Chinese supermarket there. All right. I just dropped off Pastor Ravi. And I'm making my way back home. I got a couple bags of grocery in my car left. I'm gonna add it to the others that go into Mahika River. Hey, tomorrow morning is another day. Let me see if I can see the sunset to show you guys. You know, I love the sunset. And for the last two weeks or three weeks, Guyana, we're having a lot of heavy rainfall. But today, the weather is so beautiful. You know, we have a lot of sunshine today. All right, so um, yeah, you can see a little bit cloud there. The sun is hiding behind the cloud, but all in all, it's a wonderful day today.
and I want to once again thank all these guys who contributed towards this project along with the ARD crew hey thank you so much from the bottom of my heart I want to thank you may God continue to bless you all right so we got a total of um, five food hampers remaining which we're gonna add to the 85 here now we take him to my hiker tomorrow look I get a little friend here okay now partner up mm. hmm? all right so hey the goodness man too look at the beauty of the sunset there man life couldn't get better and I want to show you all something this is one of my old partner here man my long last friend the man Ricardo I don't know why I'm little there, right? This is the man who let me canto. Thanks for that, man. Yeah, yeah. and look, let's show you show you this deck where we're going to be drinking from soon, you know. See this man got a nice big veranda here? We're going to be jumping up here soon. Sunday, we're going to have a big party, you know. we got to come back here. And look, man, go up on this man tree and thing there by watch. Look what's going on there. Yeah, Sunday, two days from now, <laughs> we're going to jump over the top here, you know. You see, man, go up on the tree there and watch Tom burn over there, by. Alright, so, hey. How can life get better than this? So, now by doing some construction work there. So I want to thank you all for your time on this channel. You know, I really appreciate it. If you like my contents, you like what I do, please hit that like button. Kindly share this video so more people like yourself can see it. Hey, hope you're staying safe, you're staying positive. Take care of you and those around you. I'm gonna see you tomorrow when we go to Mahaika on our next adventure. All right?